Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be covering the Scorpio reading. My cards is already pre-shuffled. Fake will resonate and definitely leave the rest. I hope everybody is safe, secure, and following directions. A lot of people ain't, but that's one of them. As long as me and my cat is following directions. Crack the fuck up. Ready not to open my window downstairs no more. Cause this shit is, is, is deeper than what people realize. So I need to stay safe, single, and secure. Crack the hell up. Wish I wasn't single halfway, but then again, I'd be like, nah. Because everybody, I know they going through it right now. Crack the hell up. Okay. This will be the sign of Scorpio. My readings is time fluid. Um, time is an illusion. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and do my readings. Make sure my short behind is steady. Bottom of the deck is strength. See her taming the beast. That's the over energy for the Scorpios. Damn, do you got the queen of swords? Somebody cutting through some bullshit, getting to the truth, or perhaps somebody cut you off. Crack that hell up, universe, spirit guides. Damn. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels, please tell the Scorpios what they need to know for 2020. I'm reading no reversals for right now. I just had my fair share of reversals. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please tell the Scorpios what they need to know for 2020. What do the Leos, sorry, mm, what do the Scorpios need to know for 2020? I think Leos will be my next read. What do the Scorpios need to know for my 2020? One more card, please. One more card, please. That was reverse, but I'm going to take it how it resonates. This is the Scorpio card that came out reverse. It basically says you won't budge, but I'm not doing reversal, so we're going to explain that. This is the future card. Okay, I need a little meditation on y'all reading a little bit. Okay, the first card you have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords represents some type of truth, something that's being cut out, something that's just no longer available. 
You also got the Justice card. The Justice card could indicate that you're trying to weigh out some type of options. The truth of a matter. You could be dealing with a legal situation and you're just trying to stay balanced in the situation. Or you could get justice out of a situation. But I don't see too much yet. You also got the Eight of Wands. This is something that's coming to you fast. Email, text, phone calls, letters. Um, maybe... Maybe you was doing the emails, calls, and texts, and things like that fast to someone. Um, I could see in your presence that you was juggling a situation, or you just trying to stay balanced, or this could also indicate a third-party situation. I see that you wanted to offer somebody a new beginning, um, maybe an emotional new beginning in a situation, but somebody cut through that bullshit that came swiftly and just cut through whatever that you was trying to offer them. I also see that you got the King of Cups, which represents some type of emotions. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cups representing emotions, and you're trying to make something happen. And maybe you're trying to build something with somebody, or you're just trying to build your pinnacles up. But I see that as an ending in it. It's a permanent ending, or you could take it how it resonates. You won't budge, even if it's good for you in a situation. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify... This King of Swords, what was cut? Universe, fair guides, holy angels, please clarify the King of Swords for my Scorpios. That's too many cards. Please clarify the King of Swords. Why the King of Swords here? Mm -hmm. Two, there was some deceit, some lies, deceit and lies in a situation, something that was hidden. And eight of rods is like something fast that came to you. Maybe something fast came to you about something that was hidden. Or you was hiding something and somebody knew about the situation. Because this is rods. This is making something happen, but it's coming fast paced. So maybe, maybe whoever this king of swords cut through the deceit fast or cut you out. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to figure that one out. I'm also going to clarify because you have a double whammy. Something happened fast. Maybe something was cut real fast is what I'm getting. I'm going to clarify your justice card and see why that justice is here for my Scorpios. Universe, spirit guides. Okay. Two, three cards came out. This is my incarceration card. Basically, you can't move and you feel bound up in a situation next to the justice card. Coming next to it will be the Ten of Rods. This is when you got a lot on your back and a lot on your plate. And then you got the Nine of Cups, which is your emotions. Basically, you're trying to keep your emotions intact. So I guess maybe somebody put a lot on you or you're going to get justice out of a situation. But you were trying to make something happen. It's something about happen. You're trying to, you're trying to weigh something. Or you could just been cutting through something. I don't know. Your readings is like I want that to go. This is your past energy. You got the eight of rods. Some fast pace. I see something. Universe. Universe spirit. Damn. Mm -mm. Too many cards. Universe spirit guys. No. Okay, the one fell or the two fell. Okay, yeah. Something is hidden yet to be revealed. With patience, all will be revealed. You got the high pretense. Something fast, something fast going to come to you about a situation. And then you got the King of Swords. This represent this represent Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this also could represent anyone, but somebody came through fast, cutting through some bullshit. And that's in your past. You also got the Two of Pentacles, which means you may be balancing yourself. Or it also could indicate you juggling somebody. So let's see. Universe, Spirit Guides, Holy Angels. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for my Scorpios? Yep, something was built on a something was built on a faulty foundation that came tumbling down. No, get away from that stuff. But you want knock my stuff down. This is the second time. Uh-uh. Just 
you want to find something else. Not that, sorry. And I will tear up my box. Things cost money. Sit down, Rosie. Okay. Something was built on a faulty foundation and came tumbling down. And I guess because of some juggling. This is Capricorn Virgo or Taurus. I don't see too many pinnacles in your car, but you could have been dealing with a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus that end in a situation. Friendship, partnership, relationship, something. And that's why you got all this in your past because it was some things hidden. And if you're dealing with a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus, they cut, cut you off right away. Whatever could be hidden, whatever deceit, whatever. I'm going to clarify this tower. Why is the tower here? Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Please clarify the tower. Yep, third party energy. It was a third party situation. Yep. That brought a tower moment because it was a third party situation. Let me clarify the three of cups. Universe, spirit, guides. Universe, spirit, guides. Holy angels. Please, okay. You got the ace of pentacles followed by the eight, the eight of swords. You might feel bound up. Or maybe you thought somebody was bound and blind in a situation. But the universe gave you a token of abundance. I want to clarify, somebody want to offer somebody something new, a new beginning and something. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels, please clarify the page of cups. Damn. I'm always in some reading, especially if it's somebody I used to dealt, deal with. You got the devil card, which is the Capricorn energy, with the queen of pentacles, which is the Capricorn card. So, perhaps the Scorpio want to start something new. With a Capricorn, perhaps. Something new. So, with that saying, or this could also be some manipulations, lies, deceit, addictions. But I don't see that. I feel as though somebody want to offer this Capricorn. Devil is Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Somebody would offer something new to a Capricorn. It could be, maybe not. This is a general read. Um, and that's why I'm looking at the past. Like, maybe a Capricorn cut something off because some news came to them fast. Double whammy about something that was hidden in deceit. So, this is Capricorn with, the, with that mouth. And they're going to get justice in the situation in your past. So, they just basically just, I say, cut somebody off that was a Scorpio, perhaps. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Swords that come in real fast and nasty, too. Universe, Spirit, God, Holy Angels. That's too many. Oh, no, it ain't. Yep. Ten of Cups reverse. This is family situations. And then you got the Queen of Swords. Somebody cut through some bullshit. They got to the truth of the matter. So now I see what's going on. Seemed like Scorpio. I keep that shit real by any reason. No matter what it is. Like Scorpio, you was in the third party situation. You had somebody in the third party situation. They found out about that third party situation. And they cut through all bullshit. And it seemed like they sent you something. Maybe a phone call, email, text, or something. And you know that they know about this deceit. But they maybe didn't tell you about this deceit. They might have said something. But I don't think they really... They got justice in the in the matter though, and they cut cut real fast because she got the king and the queen of swords, so they cut through it real fast. And then you got the queen of swords again, so somebody cut through some deceit because this is the happiest card in the deck with the sun, the ten of the cups, and this represents Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and it's upright, so things ain't ain't really rolling right with. You and maybe this Capricorn, I see. Or it could be the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Now, I'm going to clarify the King of Cups want to make something happen. We're going to see in the future um, in a cup of emotion. Let's see. Universe, fair guide. Okay, wow. Yep, you got the Seven of Cups. Everything is out in the open. Every, your emotions are all over the place, but everything is out. 
in a situation. You waiting for something. The two of rods. Wait, three of rods. Or you watching something leave. Clarified by the temperance, which is good health and blessings and things like that. And patience. And then you got good luck on your side. You got the will of fortune. So you got good luck. Let's see. Let's clarify this will of fortune. Well, it comes straight out. I'll take it. I didn't get the shuffle. Well, you got a full victory in something. Maybe and would make it maybe waiting to make it something happen. But then you got the three of swords, which is heartbreak, lies, betrayal, deceit. But I'm not reading I'm not reading reversals. But this way it's still confusion. So it's confusion. You're going to get victory, but it's going to be a lot of confusion. Let me clarify the um three of swords. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Please clarify the three of swords for the Scorpios. Let's see. You got the six of pentacles reverse, which is bad debt, stinginess, stuff like that. But I'm not reading reversals. So this basically is you trying to balance something. This is like a third party energy. You trying to balance and juggle something with your pentacles. And again, that's Capricorn energy. And you're not able to balance because it's just not working. See? So, I'm going to clarify that three of swords. Universe, spirit, God, holy angel, please clarify that three of swords. Whoop. No need you falling. Wow. This was a reverse. This is a con man that's coming to approach you, but I'm not reading reversal. So, this is something. You got everything to make something happen. Universe, spirit, God, holy angel, please clarify the magician. You got the sun in this. This is the happiest card in the deck. So whatever you're trying to do is going to have some confusion, but you can make something happen. And good luck is on your side. There might have been some heartbreak, lies, betrayals, but you're going to get a victory out of it because you got the sun. Because I definitely see you want to start something new with a Capricorn because this is their signs. And maybe in the past it was something that was not honest and it just was cut off. I don't know which side. But whoever cut it off, they got their justice in this matter because it was a lot of deceit, lies, something hidden, and wasn't told about. So they figured out or found out on their own. Okay, the three of pentacles. This is basically when you're trying to build something. Universe, spirit guide, mm, they're coming up. This is the hermit. You got to go within. And pray about a situation. This is the verbal energy. I'm going to clarify this death part. Which it was reversed. Which you, you won't budge. Even if it's for your own good. But it could be an ending of something. So we're going to clarify that death part. For your future. Universe. And this is your energy. The Scorpio energy. Don't forget. Universe. Spirit. God. Holy angels. Please clarify the death part. Why is the death part here? For my Scorpios. You got fast movement in something. You moving fast. So the death card could be mean reverse. Because when this is a death, you can't move nowhere. It's a done deal. So we would say the death card was reversed like how it came out. And you moving fast. You wasn't. You wouldn't even budge. But now you moving fast. I see what you moving fast is. Universe spirit got oh, flying out. Okay, you got the hangman. You just stuck in the state. You moving fast, but then you got back stuck in the situation. You just suspended because you don't know which way to go is what I'm seeing. Let's clarify this hangman. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels, please clarify the hangman. Why is the hangman here for my Scorpios? Please clarify the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? You got the king of rods. Basically, you want to make something happen. You want to clarify that king of rods. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels. Please, whoop, too many cards. Please clarify. Come on. Please clarify the king of rods. Why is the king of rods here for my Scorpios? What do my Scorpios need to know? Why is the king of rods here? What do my Scorpio need to know? 
Why are the King of Rods here? What do the Scorpios need to know? What do the Scorpios need to know? Mm. Four of Rods is a union of two, two people, families coming together in a marriage or a relationship. Then you got the Knight of Cups. This person is supposed to be looked at with suspicion. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Maybe you the person that's supposed to be looked at with suspicion that you want to offer a cup to. And then we got Capricorn all again, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's just worrying about their pentacles. So maybe I see that somebody want to move fast with a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. But maybe somebody going to look at you with suspicion. And all they focusing on is their coins right now. That's what I see. So, I mean, for my Scorpios, I see you had like some little stuff going on. Male, female, 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 male, male. And um, somebody left fast in your past. Like real fast because of some deceit, something that was hidden. And you was portraying like your emotions was all together. But they really, really wasn't. And you maybe thought somebody was blind in the situation. But they knew about some third party situation and it brought down a tower moment. And in clarifying that, you got the devil card, which is Capricorn energy, and you got the Capricorn queen again. And then you want to offer something new. So maybe you want to offer something new again and it's some type of friendship or emotion. But I don't think that's going to happen because it's like she just cut straight through bullshit. Like, or he. A lot of Scorpio men don't play that shit either, but. The, the women I know, they, they, cut and they cut through the bullshit and they just bounce. So I just see like it's an ending in a situation because this person now just worrying about their pinnacles. They really don't care if somebody got some suspicion because they not even going to um, give it no type of time. And I see that maybe you want some type of union and you was trying to move fast in that situation, but you stopped again. You, you suspended in state because you're not sure and you do want to make something happen, but... You're just not right now. So I'm going to see what the universe got to say about this reading. You, mm, whatever the case may be. Universe. Universe. Spirit guides. Holy angel. Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So maybe the universe is going to motivate you so you can make something happen to somebody that you're trying to make something happen with. But right now... You're not motivated. Universe, fair God, holy angels, please. Mm. Well, it tells it right here. Somebody's a workaholic. Could be you. Maybe you work a lot. Whatever you do, you may be doing a lot with your pinnacles. Like you only focus on working. Or maybe this person that you want to make something happen to is a workaholic. And then you got renewal. So somebody got renewed after this tower moment. Could be you, could be them, but they just got renewed. They get, they got the insight of what was going on. You see her doing, you see her, she's on her, this is her chakras. She praying and meditating. She probably knew what was going on just by her praying and meditating. And then there's some guilt. Maybe you guilty because you know that you had somebody in a third party situation and thought that they was dumb and blind. And it could have been maybe this Capricorn and they bounced. That's what I see. So I'm going to give you a love oracle, Scorpio, and uh, see what they got to say. You, they just be coming out. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So maybe your ex is somebody that you had her in the third or him. Because it could be him, it could be her, it could be two girls or two guys. But maybe you had somebody... Um. You was dealing with, with your ex in a third party situation. And then there's a wedding. They say this is situation involves wedding. So maybe it's somebody that you know that you want to make something happen with, but you still dealing with an ex, perhaps. Who knows? Whatever it did, it brought this pop tower moment. All this hidden stuff. So I don't know about no moving forward with that person. I think that person is maybe done with the drama. So this is all for my Scorpios. I hope all listening stay, stay healthy, stay safe, stay home, stay alive.